Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, your next new home, I'm Jose Reyes. Now if you're new to the channel, first and foremost, welcome and thank you for joining us. Secondly, what we do here is that we go to different cities and we take you on tours of the beautiful homes that are available to you on the market here in the state of Florida. So if you're looking to invest, if you're looking to relocate, or if you're currently renting and looking to buy a home of your very own, you may find something to your liking here on this channel. That being said, today we are located in the city of Orlando. Now, more specifically, we are located in the community of Lake Nona. Now, this is a community that has been growing quickly over the last few years and is planned to keep growing over the next few years. Now, Lake Nona has been the community where everybody wants to live in these days due to everything that this community has to offer its residents, beginning from the broad variety of home options that you have to choose from, anything from contemporary apartments to townhomes, and to the beautifully designed single family residential homes that gives you a nice modern look. Now, education wise, this community offers grade A schools from elementary schools, middle schools, and its local Lake Nona High School. So you can be sure that your children will be receiving exceptional education while living within this community. Now, shopping wise, you don't have to go too far because Lake Nona has it covered too. Uh, you have your local Walmart Supercenter, you have your Sam's Clubs, and you have a couple of public supermarkets uh, for you to be able to get your groceries at a short drive away. This community also has plenty of other stores like hardware stores, clothing stores, basically anything that you need, you have it close by so you don't have to go too far. Now, nightlife wise, Lake Nona has that covered as well. It offers many restaurants for you to wine and dine with your friends and family on a beautiful evening or on the weekend, whatever fits your needs. Uh, also, Lake Nona is the home for the newest addition, Boxy Park, which is Central Florida's first outdoor entertainment area, fully made from refurbished shipping containers. Here at Boxy Park, you can enjoy many foods from the local vendors. You can also enjoy a refreshing cocktail while you're enjoying the night entertainment out at Boxy Park. And depending on the night, you may even get a live band entertainment. This park is also equipped with uh, beach volleyball courts, also an area for your dogs because it is pet friendly. Now today we're gonna to be taking a look at a couple homes so that you can get an idea of what this community has to offer and you can enjoy the modern style finishes that each of these homes has. These are very beautiful homes. You definitely don't wanna miss these tours, my friends. So I invite you to stick around, get comfortable, enjoy these tours with me because you never know, one of these next homes may just be your next new home. Okay, so thank you for sticking around, folks. We're going to go ahead and start one of these tours of these beautiful homes that you have out here in the Lake Nona area. Now, the first home is the home that I have here right beside me to my right. This is going to be a two-story, 27 to 2,800 square feet, four-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath with a three-car garage. Plenty of upgrades in this one, guys. Very beautifully staged home. I'm excited to show you this one, guys, so I hope you're excited to see as well. Let's get started. All right, friends, so just before we go inside this beautiful new construction home, we're going to go ahead and appreciate this covered front porch patio area. You can see very, very beautifully staged so you can kind of get a sense of what you can enjoy out here with your family and your friends while you're kind of sitting out here enjoying uh, a beautiful day, just like today, seeing your neighbors outside, watching the cars drive by, just enjoying a nice, beautiful weather day like today. Now, let's go ahead inside. Let's go see what the rest of the house looks like. All right, my friends, so we're finally inside this beautiful new construction home out here in the Lake Nona area. The first thing you're gonna notice is this nice, beautiful foyer that you're gonna step into every single time you come into the front door of this home. Now, just immediately here to my left, 
you're going to find what is basically a flex room or a den area. Uh, you have here a nicely staged office space. So they kind of give you an option of what you can do with this area. If you work from home, I know these days a lot of people are working remotely. So you can go ahead and put a nice desk here for you to get those emails out uh, throughout the day as you work. Now, moving from here, we're going to go ahead and go on to the rest of the house. Now, a nice thing of this house is that this house has an open style concept, meaning that you're going to have your dining room, your kitchen, and your living space all here within the same area. Now, immediately here to our right is going to be what is the dining room. Uh, as you can see here, a nice, uh, beautifully staged table that's going to sit around six people, but I'm sure you can probably put a nice large table here and maybe sit eight to 10 people here as well, depending on the amount of guests that you're going to have here uh, at any given moment. Now, here is going to be a nice sliding door that's going to give you access to that nice outdoor uh, front patio area that we saw just a few minutes ago. So you can go ahead and appreciate uh, the clarity coming in through here and also have easy access. Go ahead and come out here to enjoy an evening after a meal with your family and friends. Now, this particular model does have this option already here where you're going to have a wide bar and maybe uh, a nice area to put your glasses, uh, maybe your drinks or whatnot. Plenty of storage space all throughout this area here. Beautifully staged with quartz countertops. Now, this particular model does have quartz throughout the whole house. So we're going to go ahead and see that. All right, so moving on from that dining area, we're going into this beautiful kitchen. So if you're a person that loves to cook just like me, you're going to really, really love this beautiful kitchen. Now, uh, this is a gourmet style kitchen, meaning that you're going to have the integrated microwave and your oven into the cabinet space. Also, you're going to have the built in uh, glass stovetop right here into the counter. Again, these are quartz countertops. Very, very beautiful. Nice color scheme in this house. A beautiful green on that backsplash matches perfectly with this uh, modern style look of the gray cabinets. You're going to have this beautiful stainless steel hood that's going to go ahead and help you eliminate the smells of the delicious foods that you cook here in the kitchen so they're not lingering too long after you cook. Now, another beautiful feature of this kitchen is going to be this large kitchen island. Plenty of space here for you to wrap your friends and family around with the bar stools. A lot of space for you to put down your foods, charcuterie boards, appetizers, you name it. Plenty of space to do that and entertain your guests right here from this kitchen. Now, another good feature is this sink. Very, very deep sink. It allows you enough space to put your dishes in while you're entertaining your guests or maybe wash them at the same time. Whatever uh, fits your needs best. Now. Coming over this way, we're going to have the pantry, nice size pantry, plenty of space for you to put your foods and other things that you need to put within this pantry for this kitchen, plenty of space to do that here. Now, another counter space over here in this kitchen, which you can maybe put a coffee station or many other uh, appliances that you may have, you can go ahead and put them right here in the kitchen. Now, you got the nice side-by-side -side with, with the freezer on the bottom here, stainless steel appliances that come as an option with the purchase of this home. So like we said before, this is an open style concept. So the living area is going to be right across from that kitchen. So we're just stepping into this family space here. You, they have it staged beautifully with two chairs and a nice couch here, giving you an idea of what you can do with the space. A nice big flat screen TV on the wall here. So you can go ahead and enjoy uh, those shows with your family or movies or maybe those sports games with the family here within this area. Now, a feature that makes this area very, very unique is those nice wooden beams on top here. Gives it a nice country style kind of look, modern style look within this home, along with the crown molding that you're going to see all around this house. Now, moving around from the living space, you got another space out here that you can enjoy. You have this little area here, kind of a nook where they kind of stage it as a place for you to kind of hang around with your friends uh, or your family. 
We have a nice uh, cocktail tray here, kind of give you an idea that you can enjoy a nice cocktail after maybe a meal or maybe watching some movies or games with your family right here within this area. Now let's go ahead and go over this way to our left. We're gonna take out the laundry and the master room. All right, so moving across from that living space, we're gonna go ahead into the laundry room. This is gonna be a nice size laundry. You can see you have your connections here for your uh, washer and your dryer. Also, you're gonna have a nice wash station here so you can go ahead and wash your hands or hand wash any delicate garments that you can put into the washer. Plenty of storage space up here cabinets where you can put your detergents or any other objects or maybe an iron or anything you want to store here within the laundry. Plenty of space to do that here. Okay, so moving on from the laundry, we're going to go ahead and go to the master bedroom, which is located here within the first floor of this two-story home. Now, as you can see, nice, spacious master bedroom. Beautiful windows are going to face to the backyard of this home, which we're going to visit in just a few moments here. But let's appreciate the space here. Beautiful chandelier that's coming down from the ceiling. And those beautiful wooden beams that we saw in the family space. They did include them here within this room, giving a beautiful touch to this home, a sense of a modern style, country home and luxury all at the same time. Now, through these double doors here, we're going to find the master bathroom. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right. So coming in through these double doors, we have that beautiful master bathroom. Now, this bathroom is going to offer you a nice big vanity. that's going to have dual sinks, one for either spouse, uh, a nice personal mirror on each side on behind every single sink here. Plenty of counter space for you to store or place. Uh, your items that you need here, maybe makeup, jewelry, etc., whatever it is that you need to put up here. Plenty of storage space and drawers as well for you to use for your products here within the bathroom. Now, through this door over here, we're going to have the toilet. So you have privacy whenever you use the toilet. So you have a nice space right here for that. Coming across over this way, we're going to have this beautiful walk in shower. So a beautiful shower. As see, no door here, but you have a nice glass enclosure, so kind of avoid any splash of the water coming out of this area. But beautiful, nice tiled uh, shower all the way to the top. You're going to have plenty of space here to have your soaps and your detergents and a little uh, indentation you have here. Beautiful shower head, and you're going to be turning on your water over here at the entrance. Now, moving on from the shower, before we get to the closet, we're going to go ahead and show you this door here. You're going to have access to the laundry room directly from the master bathroom. So make it easy for you to grab uh, the clothes that you need to wash, come right into the laundry and do your, your laundry really quickly. You don't have to go all the way out back around the master the bedroom to get to the laundry. Now, moving on ahead, we're going to go ahead and have the walk in closet. Something that's very interesting about this closet is that you're going to have a window facing the outside of the house, which is gonna allow a lot of natural light to come in here, making it a lot easier to find your clothes and garments that you wanna wear in, throughout the day in this closet. You don't have to turn on the overhead lights, which is gonna, it's gonna minimize the cost of that electric bill. All right, friends, so let's go ahead and move on from this closet. We're gonna get out of this master bedroom. We're gonna go ahead and take out the backyard. All right, so let's go ahead and take a moment and appreciate this backyard this is going to be uh, a paved backyard area, uh, plenty of space for you to kind of put a table out here to enjoy maybe a barbecue with your family or your friends on those summer evenings where we all love to barbecue out here in Florida. Uh, this area here is a little elevated, so we'd have to step down over this way. You know, another area where you can go ahead and put some uh, chairs and maybe a seating area for you to enjoy. The beautiful sunsets or a beautiful evening out here with your family and friends uh, or whatever family gatherings that you want to have here at home uh, as you see over here as well more space for you to maybe put a fire pit or another area for you to lounge and put maybe some rocking chairs out here as well you name it you have infinite possibilities out here within this area now behind us uh, this is going to be the actual office that they're using right now but if when you buy this home 
this would be the actual garage. So we said this was going to be a three car garage, it's going to be rear entry from this home and have easy access right through this little courtyard or this little backyard space. And you have the access to your home. Now let's go back inside the home and let's go ahead and check out that second floor. So we made it to the second floor of this beautiful new home. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this first room of the three that's located up here in the second floor. Nicely staged room, pretty big size as well. Uh, this looks like it's a full size bed, but I'm sure you can put up maybe a queen size, uh, probably a king size bed in here and get away with it. Just to give you perspective of the size of this room. Now, this room is going to have a standard size closet. It's going to have two doors that open out. So pretty much standard rack within this closet, plenty of space for you to put your clothes and any other objects that you need to store within this closet for this bedroom. So a nice feature of this room is that it has its own full size bathroom with its own sink and combination stand in tub and shower. Now, a nice feature of this bathroom is going to have a standard feature, which is going to be a, a subway style tile. It's going to go all the way from the ceiling to the tub. The countertop for your sink is going to be a quartz countertop, just like we said before. All the countertops here within this house are going to be quartz, which is going to be an option that you can choose when having this house built. Now let's go ahead and get out of this bathroom. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the second floor. Now moving on from that first bedroom up here in the second floor, we're going to go into a second room that can be also used as a bedroom or maybe a little office space or den up here in the second floor. So you have windows on either side here, which is gonna give you a lot of clarity throughout the day. Now let's go ahead and leave this space. Let's go ahead and take a look at the full size bathroom connecting these rooms. So another beautiful bathroom up here in the second floor. Again, quartz countertop that uh, they use as an option for this model. It's something that you can kind of add when you have this house built as well. Now, uh, standard, uh, tile here from the tub all the way to the roof. Again, another example of the subway style design uh, that you can have within this bathroom. Uh, you're going to have your combination standing tub and shower uh, in this bathroom and also your toilet and sink. Now leaving this bathroom, let's go ahead and take a look at room number three up here in the second floor. All right, so coming into room number three up here in the second floor. Um, it's a nice size room. They have it staged with Probably a queen size bed, but I believe you can fit a king size bed in here if you want to. A nice window that's going to be facing the side of your house. It's going to allow some clarity to come here throughout the day. So this is a nice spacious room. Uh, another standard uh, size closet that you're going to have over here. Again, those double doors that you're going to pull out towards you. Standard rack for you to kind of situate your clothes and organize it uh, efficiently for this room. Now let's go ahead and get out of here. We're going to check out the loft area. Okay, so just uh, leaving that last room, we're going to go ahead and step in to this nice big loft area up here in the second floor. Plenty of space for you to put a sectional couch up here, a nice TV on the wall like the half here stage to kind of give you an example of what you can do here. Uh, kind of have a nice space for your children or for your guests or for just as a family to come up here with your friends as well to watch a nice uh, TV show or maybe some movies up here or sports games as well. It can also be staged as a study area like they have here. Um, you have a nice desk where uh, anyone who's living up here can go ahead and do their homework or maybe work from up here as well. Uh, plenty of space for you to kind of design it uh, as per your needs. Now, that pretty much does it for this one, guys. Let's go ahead and go back downstairs. We're going to go ahead and talk about the financials when purchasing a home just like this one.
Okay, so that pretty much does it for the tour of this beautiful new construction home out here in the Lake Nona area. Now, when purchasing this home, the base price for this home can fluctuate anywhere from $720,000 to $730,000, depending on the elevation that you choose. Now, there is a low HOA that is, that is paid quarterly, and it also has a low CDD charge, depending on the home site that you choose. Now, that HOA is gonna cover the high speed fiber internet that you're gonna have here within this community. It's also gonna cover the, the use of the LaLaurie Park Aquatic Center and also the fitness center as well. Now this developer is offering the incentives of giving you up to $20,000 towards your closing costs when buying a home just like this one if you use their preferred lender. Like I mentioned before, you definitely want to take advantage of this particular model because it's the number one in sale and resale within this community. Now, for more questions of this property or properties just like this one, feel free to give me a call or text your next new home to the number that you're going to see at the bottom of the screen. The details for this house, I'm going to go ahead and include them for you in the description area down below. So just in case you missed something, just check down there and go ahead and, and appreciate those details. Or again, you can just give me a call. You'll definitely talk to me. You won't talk to an assistant. You won't talk to a team. I'd love to chat with you personally and see what we can do in order to help you get into a beautiful home just like this one. Other than that, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give us a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I post a video on this channel. Now, other than that, until next time, guys, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video of the next tour of what could be your next week. Thank you.